MLB The Show 23 is in season six, which means every single card that we've had is available in the game. And today I'm gonna to be going over the best second baseman in all of MLB The Show 23. There are tons and tons of cards that they gave second base secondaries or primaries to this year. So I'm gonna make sure that you guys know which ones are the absolute best to make your Diamond Dynasty squad the best. Before we get into everything, I'm gonna give a couple of disclaimers. First, this is just my list. Keep that in mind, these are my opinions. So if you guys think that some cards are better or should have been on this list, let me know down below in the comments. And then number two, this is the final infield video. So if a card that you like and have been using at second base isn't on this video, there's a really, really, really good chance it's in one of the three other infield videos that I've put out because I'm only putting infielders at one singular infield spot. That way you guys can watch each individual video and still get fresh cards and not just be Ellie De La Cruz nine times. So with those disclaimers out of the way, make sure you guys like and subscribe if you like the video and let's get into it. Let's start off with an honorable mention, 99 Trevor Story, a fantastic righty swing, really, really good versus lefties, max style clutch, good speed, almost perfect fielding. This card does a lot of things right. I just think a lot of other cards on this list have better contact versus right and are a little bit more balanced. This card is only 50k though, so great honorable mention. Another honorable, Nolan Gorman, 99 finest card. Maxed out power versus both sides. 105, 119, so a little inverse splits. 120 clutch. Oh my goodness, this card's actually insane. I haven't used a Nolan Gorman card since like MLB 19, so I couldn't tell you how his swing is. So he's not like a five tool guy like a lot of these cards are. The hitting is incredible though, and he's probably the best card left off the list. A really crazy card that I don't know why is this good is this 99 Brandon Drury. A 110 in every hitting stat besides Vision. Might be a fun try. Honorable mention. Another honorable 99 Marcus Semyon. This card was free in the reward path a long time ago. He's only 10k now. So this is the best cost effective card probably in the whole list. Really, really great stat card. And anybody that plays Legend and like the super high difficulties can tell you, this card was like one of the surprise cards of the year. I don't know if I've seen a card get as much love when seemingly nobody's ever used Semyon's in the past. He makes durability and shortstop team also. So people have loved that all year. The last honorable mention I want to put is Rafael Devers, just because he's already on a list, so he's not making this one, but this card plays second base, and most people may or may not know that. And just the fact that he can play second base, and I think he's one of the 10 best cards in this game in terms of hitting, so I just want it to be known that he can play second, but he's already on another video, so he's not going to make the top 10. And now let's start with number 10, 99 Luis Arise, finest card. He's gotten a bunch of cards throughout the year and last year as well, but this is easily the best Luis Arise we've ever gotten. Maxed out contact, vision, and clutch to be expected from Luis, but he has 95 and 92 power. That means he gets 100 power versus right-handed hitting at P5. He's also a shortstop team card, which doesn't help him too much outside of the speed, but hey, that is one of the fault. The bad parts about him is that he's not super fast. If you guys love high contact, not overly crazy power, this is maybe the best card on the list for you. Really solid. Good lefty, good hitter. Got a bunch of quirks. I like Luis. Uh, he's not my type of hitter, uh, but really good card. Number 10. At number nine, we have Royce Lewis. There's actually a string of three right-handed guys who play second base. This is the only one that's not primary, which is why he's going to be number nine. Uh, Royce Lewis, maxed out versus righties, really good versus lefties, solid speed at 85. The other positions that he has, third base and shortstop, were a little too loaded. Second base felt like a good spot for him. Uh, this card's really, really solid. There's no quirks on it. Royce has a pretty decent swing. The inverse splits are really nice. And... This card doesn't lack anything outside of quirks and vision. Uh, his speed and fielding could, I guess, always be better. But I think some of the other cards on this list are just a little bit better. So he's number nine. At number eight, we have this all-star series, Javier Baez. He's a second base primary for whatever reason. He was playing shortstop at the time, but that's fine. Uh, Javi Baez, he is actually a really, really, really good card. I never thought we'd see a Baez statted like this. Uh, he's definitely an upgrade, in my opinion, from Royce. Faster, he's a better fielder in a primary position at second base. He does have quirks as well, even though it's just bad ball hitter. Baez does have a very good swing as well. 
Um, and Abayas with 85 speed is actually crazy. I like him. I think he's a smidge better than Royce, despite them being pretty similar archetypes. Next up at number seven, we have 99 finest Jose Altuve. 118 and 100 power for Altuve is unbelievable. Great two-handed swing. He's pretty short, so if you like guys like the Jose Ramirez of the world, you'll love Altuve. He has a bunch of quirks because he's been one of the better hitters in baseball for a while. 80 speed is very good. 76 fielding, 62 arm, and he's really short. So he is the worst of the three in this archetype defensively. I do think he's easily the best hitting of the three in this archetype, especially with the quirks, and he has the best swing of the group. So to me, he's going to be number seven as the second baseman. And going from Altuve to Matt Carpenter at number six is where the jump gets pretty significant in my opinion. This Matt Carpenter, 99, plays third, second, and first base. His best position, in my opinion, is going to be second base, although he's realistically one of the best options at all of those positions. He doesn't have any quirks because he was not very good. He doesn't have any quirks on this card. That's okay. It's a SIG series, 122, 116, 123, 104. This is looking like Yankees Matt Carpenter right here, just Barry Bonds Jr. Uh, really good fielder also, and 64 speed's not terrible terrible over at second base he'll get it done with the 84 reaction and 86 fielding at second he'll be more than fine and this is the singular best left-handed solo hitting second base option in the entire game I, I do wish he had quirks but his swing is so 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 good and I don't know if we'll ever have a Matt Carpenter like this again he actually signed with the Cardinals again today day i don't know when you guys will be watching this video but today he signs with the cardinals again for next season so we'll at least get one more year of carpenters i think this card is awesome though and to me he's the number six second baseman at number five we had a teammate of matt carpenter glaber torres 99 finest this is a collection reward and this is essentially matt carpenter just righty Although I think he has a better swing, he's a better fielder, and the hitting stats are just overall a little bit better than Carpenter. So really, they're next to each other out of preference if you want a lefty or a righty. He does have at least two quirks. 57 speed is probably the lowest on the entire list, and that does hurt Glaber a little bit. I think Glaber would probably be closer towards the top of the list as opposed to the middle if that was, say, 88 speed. But regardless of that, this is one of the better right-handed and probably the singular best right-handed non-switch hitting second baseman in the game. Plus, he's the Yankee theme team, obviously. He gets durability squad as well and shortstop team. And to me, he's number five. So, spoiler warning, but the rest of this list are all switch hitters. I really do think that you could put them in any order you really wanted to based off swing preference. However, kind of putting swings aside, I'm putting them in order for most viable, most often. Coming in at number four is going to be Ozzy Albies. This guy is insane versus lefties with the maxed out. 122 clutch is also amazing. The vision's really good. 91 fielding's great. His best position is definitely second base. 78 speed is very good at second base, however. Another guy on the shorter end, so if you like that Altuve, again, Jose Ramirez, you're going to like Ozzy Albies. No quirks on him, but yeah, the reason that the next four are all switch hitters because switch hitting is so valuable. There have definitely been cards better statted prior to this Albies. The switch hitting, though, and the swing, and he does everything else fantastic. Really, the big flaw is just the contact versus righties. I think Ozzy's fantastic. The next switch hitter is going to be this 99 Brian Roberts. He's in the Finders Keepers collection, so he does take a little bit to get, and if you don't have him by now, uh, he's probably on the really expensive side, which definitely puts him down on this list as well. Same with Ozzy Albies, I might add. He was a core collection. So these two cards are a little bit of a pain to get. Brian Roberts, 125, 104 versus right, 118, 100 versus left. Max Clutch, 96 speed, 99 fielding is really good. So his defense is fantastic. Probably the best defender at second base, really at all. Just I wish he had a little bit more power. I've also never been the biggest fan of a Brian Roberts card and a Brian Roberts swing, personally. He does have a couple of quirks as well. And you got to keep in mind his location. This is the most expensive card outside of Javi Baez on this entire list. So Brian Roberts is going to be number three. Coming in at number two for second baseman is Tim Raines. He's a second base secondary, which is 
pretty interesting. This is the only secondary guy almost on the entire list. Uh, most of them have been primaries. Uh, Tim would probably be on a different list somewhere, but second base is the only infield position he can play. Pretty much maxed out contact, clutch, vision, and discipline. So this is essentially a Luis Arise, but he's a switch hitter. He also got the 95 and 90 power, again, just like the Luis Arise I talked about. The main difference between him and Luis, and the reason that there's so many gaps in between them, is 99 speed, 99 stealing, 93 fielding, 85 arm, and again, the switch hitting bat. Plus, you're getting a bunch of quirks with Tim as well. And he falls into the weird legend attribute or archetype that we've gotten the last couple of years, where switch hitters super fast and they just get crazy, crazy exit velos. Think of Ray Durham from last year, the Roberto Alomars we've had in years past. Tim Raines is essentially current day Roberto Alomar without the nonsense of Roberto Alomar. This is a collection reward also. However, he is not super deep into the set five collection. So if you had grinded set five at all, or you're doing team affinity, or just been playing a lot of online games and getting those vouchers, there's a decent chance at some point you'll wind up getting this Tim Raines. And I know the power doesn't jump off the page, but every single other thing this card does is almost perfect. With a great swing, it's hard not to have him at number two. And last but not least, we have 99 overall Cattell Marte. There are three 99 Cattell Martes, which is crazy. Uh, they're all second base, and I really don't know which one I like more. Uh, this one is a little bit slower, but he has higher stealing than the all-star one. He also has way more power versus right, but less versus left. A little bit worse in the vision and discipline. The fielding is more or less the same. So I'm just going to pull up this one as well, because realistically, if you have this one and not the other, use this one. If you have the milestone and not this one, use this one. I don't really think there's too much that you're losing either way. If, if you just feel like you face righties more often, probably get the milestone one. Or if you're a guy that really likes to steal bases, that one is actually way better. It doesn't necessarily matter which one because they're both fantastic cards. And Cattell Marte has either the best or second best swing in this entire video. His stats are so good offensively, especially this one. I mean, he's just so well balanced. It looks like Tim Raines hitting just higher power. And this is just one of those fan favorite type of swing cards. And I'm really happy that he's gotten several cards. I've really been using Cattell Marte's all year. If you're tired of using him, because I do think he's the best second baseman, use any of the other cards I mentioned before. But I do think Cattell is the best second baseman in MLB to show 23. So there you have it, guys. All the second basemen in the game ranked 1 through 10. Again, these are just guys that didn't make the other three lists. So if you want to check those out and see your favorite guy that you play out of position at second base, go check out some of those other videos. And make sure you like and subscribe this one on your way out. We'll be coming out with catcher and outfield videos here soon as we wrap up MLB to show 23 and look forward to a new game. I'll see you guys next time. Have a good one. Peace.